Hi, my name is Harry Zias. I'm a student physical therapist assistant in the Miami Dade Medical Campus. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to perform shoulder internal rotation on the right side. So first things first is you want to have the patient in the testing position. In this case, it's going to be supine, also with the shoulder in about almost a 90-90 position. Um, you also want to then, after that, you want to move the patient through the available range of motion. You want to determine the end field, which in this case is going to be a firm end field. You're going to make a visual estimate, in this case, about 70 degrees, and then you're going to return the patient back to the, st to the starting position. Um, from there, you want to palpate for the anatomical lumbars. In this case, I want to place the fulcrum in the olecranon process. The proximal arm is going to be perpendicular to the floor, and the distal arm is going to be alongside the lateral aspect of the radius, aiming at the styloid process of the radius. From there, I'm going to line the goniometer, or goniometer with the anatomical landmarks. I want to read and record the range of motion of the starting position. In this case, it's gonna be zero degrees. I'm gonna remove the goniometer, and then after that, I'm gonna perform passive range of motion. How about there? I'm gonna replace the goniometer, and I'm gonna align it with the anatomical landmarks. And then I'm gonna read and record the range of motion of the ending position, which in this case is gonna be about 70 degrees of shoulder internal rotation. And that is how you perform shoulder internal rotation for range of motion.